Yo, what up everybody? Welcome back to another beat making video. Although this is like a beat already made video. Um, but anyway, I was messing around in Omnisphere and I came up with this like super simple chord progression, but it has like a really real country feel, like a real western country feel. And it's not something that I usually do, but I know that song out right now, um, Old Town Road is really popular i don't really think it's that great of a song but i think the idea is pretty cool like combining trap and country so yeah i mean the patch i'm using is a backwards piano and it's just like this reverse piano sound with this like lo-fi retro feel so we'll take a quick listen to the chords So yeah, I mean, you can definitely f like hear that it has that country feel and you can see that the chords aren't exactly, they're not quantized, they're not quantized at all. Um, so it, it feels a little more loose and I have it thrown in the mixer with a few things on it. I'm just compressing it um, just so it can, just so it has a little more control yeah, so I'm really like squashing those transients and I put the isotope vinyl. This is a f uh, free plugin if anybody's wondering just to add just to make it sound even more like dirty and even more old and retro. One thing that's so annoying about this plugin is though this electrical noise part. It just keeps going even if the track is um, stopped, paused, or whatever. So just keep that in mind. But yeah, I mean, this plugin is definitely cool just to add a little grit to whatever you want. And just an EQ, um, bumping out some of the lows and just dropping the highs. Just a tad 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 bit i mean it's not really even doing anything there's nothing going on there but yeah it gives it that really uh vintage sound so for the drums i just i'm just using the fpc drums uh comes with fl studio i just wanted something um i wanted a kick and a snare that could really punch through uh this chord progression because it's really muddy and you really want those drums to you know just to pop out so I'm using the FPC one kick that's just everyone has that comes with FL studio and the snare I'm using a 606 snare I like the 606 snare because it has it has punch and it has bounce so like to me it's like a combination between a 909 and an 808 um so even though there's no bounce um i'm not there's no snare bounce in this track at all i mean i could add shit to it but as of right now there isn't um but so yeah let's let's listen to the chords with the the kick and snare I mean, pretty simple stuff. Now, of course, if I was arranging, if I was arranging this as a full track, I would definitely have at least three or four different kick patterns, um, just to you know give it, just so it's not so repetitive um, and makes it a little more interesting. And then I have a clap. So yeah, the clap I have in the mixer, and I'm just throwing a reverb on it with a lot of decay. Pretty common stuff for claps, especially in like EDM. A 
okay so to keep that like country feel instead of a hi hat I just use maracas and yeah Pretty simple stuff. And for the bass, oh, and the maracas, I just also just have a tad bit of reverb on it. Um, not much at all. And the bass, I had some trouble with the bass coming up with like a good bass line. Um, I'm using a real bass, well, a real sample bass. Yeah, so hopefully you guys can hear that. I'm not sure if it's going to come through like laptop speakers or cell phone speakers, but um, with headphones and a good uh, monitor setup, you should definitely be able to pick up these low tones. So yeah, let's take one more listen of the bass, drums, and the chords all together. So yeah, um, pretty simple stuff. I feel like it has a kind of a country vibe, but it also has somewhat of a trap vibe. And then finally, in Nexus, I grabbed a, an electric guitar. I mean, yeah, electric nylon guitar. And I just have legato on, so the notes uh, glide. And... I just played this little melody. So yeah, I mean, that's about it. Um, from this point on, I would, everything's on one pattern, so I would separate everything and then, um, you know, maybe add some crashes, little, maybe some little uh, ear candy type things and, you know, just arrange it however I want, basically. But this is the core of the song. So yeah, thanks for watching.